Hey guys, what's up? Kevin here for yet another video and welcome back to another sort of a tutorial video where I am going to show you how um well, uh how to use both the uh the uh background that we created in the previous episode and I'm also going to show you how to uh apply it to a uh, you know, 3DS recording that you might have. So, let's begin, I guess. <laughs> Uh, the one thing that I have to say is that I don't know if uh, what I'm going to do is possible with anything else other than uh, Vegas Pro 11. I'm going to leave you guys a link on how to get it 100% free. I mean, <laughs> a little burp again. <laughs> and a hiccups. Uh, you tell me if you want to spend, um, I believe it's 540 euros for, uh, euros for uh, this program. I really do I don't think so. If that you know, that money is not leaving my pocket for you know something that I could get for free. And so yeah, the first link that you are going to find on top of the description over here is uh, a link and how a, a video on how to get and how, how you can get Sony Vegas Pro 11 for free, 100% free. So actually, the first thing we want to do is uh, head over here to import media. And we want to grab both, uh, you know, this is some um, Mario Kart uh, 7 footage. And we also want to get ourselves our background that we created. So we are going to open that. That is pretty cool. First of all, uh, we want to get over here and add uh, these, uh, this thing over here. We want to work with only one... Um, uh, only one screen uh, screen right now and after that we want to uh get over here and grab the background so i want to get like maybe a you know couple uh, maybe uh this is just me testing the uh camera uh the tripod which uh, i sort of failed at so let's go ahead and search for a um Actually, I believe this is the wrong clip, so i'm going to delete it it's no big deal it's no big deal because i actually have um Another well, another footage. Well, not footage, but another uh, testing over here. I do believe this is the correct one. Let's go ahead and use that one. And so, yeah, that is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and uh, shrink this, and let's go ahead and look for a nice stand. You know, stand clip. Now, let me see. How about? Oh, uh, it's over here. Almost, almost here. They almost. Yes. Here we go. So, uh, how about? Okay, let's go ahead and uh, split this. I'm going to. Um, a delete no 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 I don't want to delete that I want to delete what I don't need and I want to put this over here so the first thing what, uh, that you need to know about you know this type of footage I might uh, tell me if you guys want to know how to record you know this type of footage I know it's not the most clear or the most high definition but it certainly works for me and I'm going to try to you know maybe uh, search better ways to record uh, 3ds gameplay but uh, this is what you want to do with the editing part so Number one, you want to go to properties. Uh, okay, here we go. Then uh, this will be uh, maintain aspect ratio. Uh, uncheck that, and here you want to uh, use uh, disable resample, I believe. You want to click those, and that is pretty much it. So let's go ahead and accept. Next, you want to go back to properties. I don't know why I <laughs> exited that. And you want to go to media, I believe this is, you know, this is called. Uh, here we, uh, you're going to go to rotation. You can see that here right now is, uh, you know, at zero degrees. We want to go to uh, 90 degrees uh, counterclockwise. So let's go ahead and accept. And it's going to be like this. You are going to notice that it's going to be, uh, you know, really, really stretched. And this is where the tricky part begins. So you want to go ahead and use the crop thingy. Uh, head over here and do, you know, since the uh, screen is like that, we want to do, uh, maybe do this to have, you know, a good look at both, uh, you know, both things that we are doing. That is, that is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and shrink this a little bit. And uh, actually, the, trick part, the trick, uh, tricky part comes here where you have to match the top, um, the top screen to uh, the, you know, the background that we did. So what I like to do, first of all, is um, like, for example, over here. What I like to do first is uh, align the, uh, okay, let me see. So we have to align the top screen to the top. Okay, now let me see. This, you know, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Uh, hopefully you guys are going to have a laugh look, uh, looking at me failing. But uh, now let me see. God damn it. Uh, I do believe that's okay. Okay, now no, that's not okay. I still need to check, you know, how to... Uh, have you know these things uh, removed and make it a perfect triangle 
But uh, over here, how about we do this? And that looks, you know, sort of okay if it's over here. Then we need a little bit more. So how about we do this? And if you can see the lines, which I, you know, can perfectly uh, see them, uh, it looks, you know, that it's looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and uh, now check the top part, which uh, looks it, it it looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and sort of uh, align this, which would be somewhere around here. Let's say. Yeah, it's it's that is that okay? I believe. Uh, let's go ahead and you know let's go ahead and say it is you know it's okay like that. So we are going to close this, and what we want to do next is go to Event FX and uh, choose the Sony cookie cutter. We're going to add that uh, which we already did, and we are going to press OK. Then we are here at the um well the um event managing or whatever you want to change this uh, shape from circle to a square and that is going to appear now next you uh, next thing you want to do is you know make it a little bit bigger where uh, the screen is going to show and you can see right there that I, I didn't you know uh, do it exactly but you can uh, potentially uh, come back in here and you can change this to look something like this which is pretty cool if you're not happy with that you can uh, make it a little bit bigger which uh, let's go ahead and do right now that looks pretty good so let's keep that one and let's go back to the event effects and uh, now we are and you know, now comes the not tricky part because this is actually not that good you know not that uh uh, difficult so what we want to do next is uh here in the center we want to get this number really high maybe to okay 900 that is really cool uh make it a little bit smaller how about 870 uh, i guess okay seven uh <laughs> seven uh i mean 870 this might be uh, vary with uh you know maybe uh your your camera or, or whatever but that is basically what we you know what you want to do i really recommend that you uh record your videos in a vertical position like i did so you have to rotate it counter or you know regular clockwise so that's pretty cool and um so yeah the top screen is done so what we want to do next is go press you know you know uh, you see that if we uh move this both the video and audio are going to move together if if you press the key u it's going to separate them and now you know they are uh, independent files which is pretty cool let's go ahead and delete the sound because we actually need to uh to add and now oh no i don't want to do that um so i'm going to delete track and then i'm going to add a video track so okay i i want this one to be on top and then let's go ahead and add another one this sound we are going to keep since we you know there's no other sound and this one let's go ahead and do the same so properties uh uncheck maintain aspect great aspect ratio and uh disable resemble and go ahead and click in here on media i believe a counterclockwise is you know um active uh, is active for this a uh, specific clip so that is pretty cool uh if we do this however you're going to notice you know this which uh uh well uh right over here what you want to do to work a little bit you know better is remove you know completely remove what you already did with this which uh you know looks really cool and uh now you want to do the same thing with this one so we are going to uh now do this for the uh bottom screen which uh, hopefully is going to be uh, a lot uh, easier, I I hope. Now, let me see. Uh, what we want to do now is sort of make it a little bit uh, small so it can't, you know, maybe fit in here. So, okay, this is looking pretty, you know, really, really big. So, okay, make it a little bit smaller. Um, no, I do believe it's, uh, you know, still smaller. And let me check this out. Uh, I think that is looking decent enough. I'm going to add a little bit more and then I'm going to add, you know, maybe uh, this over here, which that might look uh, pretty decent, I believe. OK, so that that is looking pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and check the uh, this over here, which, uh, yeah, that is looking pretty decent. So let's go ahead and actually uh, over here. It's looking. How about that? OK, that is perfect. So. Uh, now that we did that, let's go ahead and do the same thing on the Sony uh, cookie cutter. Let's press OK. Here we change it back to the square. And uh, now we do. Uh, so, OK, it's not 500. We want to uh, 
take that to a really low number, let's say 100, no, 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 not 1000, we want to check it to 0, 100, and that is going to do that, how about we do, uh, we decrease the size in order to make it like a smaller screen, and uh, that is going to happen, so that is looking pretty good, and uh, as you see right there, we can go back to the event crop thing, and now that we have the perfect, um, well, maybe not perfect, but now that we have a good um, example with this, we can go ahead and, you know, play around with this until it looks, you know, uh, decent enough. Let's go ahead and uh, maybe that is looking good enough. I do believe it is. So with our, uh, now this is how it is going to look. If we, okay, le let's see. Oh, Place it's not going to be sync uh, sync in sync because I... Uh, okay, now let me see. What can I do? I can do this. I can go over here and in this uh, thing, press, uh, you know, delete. And we are going to be moving everything over here. So check it, uh, you know, check out at how this is going to look. If we can check it out, <laughs> maybe. Okay, look at that. It's it's looking a little bit, um, you know, laggy. But when we actually um, render it, it's going to look really, really good. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and see if we can uh, potentially grab, you know, let's go ahead and grab this, you know, really small piece. Let's go ahead and over here and grab, um, you know, maybe a couple of seconds. So it's, a, it's a, uh, 16, 36. No, let's go ahead and grab it at uh, 26 so we can have 10 seconds of footage. And that is going to be really cool. So go ahead and do this and this and that and uh, put everything in place. So we want to go ahead and render. I'm not going to go through the render settings, but uh, that is pretty much what you want to do. Uh, it's not really a rendering tutorial. More like, you know, what you can do to uh, record 3DS gameplay. Right here, let's go ahead and MK7 test, I believe. Uh, thousand your door test on the desktop. Let's go ahead and render that. Let's see how long that takes. Oh boy, it's going to take a little bit. So <laughs> I am going, okay, one minute and um, I'm going to be cutting it until we are done. So I will meet you guys in one second. All right, now that this is done, we are going to go ahead and open it. And this is how uh, hopefully your project is going to look. And uh, there we go. It's it, you know it's looking pretty clean, although the uh, the camera footage is looking a little bit blurry, and the the, the bottom screen is looking a little bit you know choppy, may, uh, mainly because of the camera angle. But uh, the top screen and bottom screen are looking pretty, pretty you know really really damn nice. So. Yeah, that is pretty much, and you know, after that, you can upload it to YouTube and do whatever you want. So, yeah, that is pretty much it. So, yeah, I don't think I have anything else to add. Check the description for the download, uh, how to get Sony Vegas Pro 11 for uh, completely free. And, uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this uh, tutorial, if it was helpful, if you plan on doing 3DS gameplay, uh, you know, whatever you want to do. And if this helped you to look a little bit more professional, uh, you know, sort of what we did on the, uh, now I'm trying to see here, uh, on the, <clears throat> on the 3DS, um, Paper Mario 3DS background testing. Um, yeah, if you want to do something like this and, and if this helped you, uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Maybe you want a little bit more, you know, maybe more tutorials on how to maybe record gameplay or whatever. Uh, definitely tell me if you want to see how I recorded this, although it's not the best. It certainly can do a little, uh, one or two things for you. So if you enjoy this, give this a thumbs up. Maybe share it with your friends or do whatever you want. So uh, you, you guys have a great day. Take care of yourself until my next video. I will see you then.